So here we're looking at the edit panel for reactor blocks. I've got two inputs, which are coming from my aggregate device, which is coming from both my sound card and a little device taking USB signals and converting those to an ADAT signal plugged into my Expert Sleepers ES3 module. These outputs are for the aggregate device, created in the Mac and Audio MIDI settings. Here we'll look at the pitch CV out block. Going into utility and adding this into the edit window here by double clicking, we'll then patch our audio input into the block so it can listen to my modular oscillators and calibrate those so they're perfectly in tune. I patch my audio in to the input, the pitch CV to my first output, and the gate CV to my second output. Hitting edit, we're back to the normal blocks viewing window. So let's go over to the module and create a patch to then get some sequences going. So this is the ES3, and I'm currently just listening to the audio to record my square wave. Let's leave that patched up. I'm gonna patch the first output, which is pitch, to the volt per octave input of this AGH oscillator. Now I know this is calibrated, tracks really well, sounds great, but whether your oscillator tracks well or not, we can check and get that super stable. So I'm gonna run the pitch CV utility in reactor and then come back to the modular. So that's run its pitch calibration. Let's set up a sequence and then listen to this oscillator. Let's go back to the edit window and create two eight step sequences. In fact, let's just start with one. Let's pass the pitch CV output to the pitch input on the pitch CV out block and the gate signal from the sequencer to the gate output. I'm also going to create a clock module, pass its reset to the sequencer's reset in, and the gate to the gate input. Let's come up with a little pitch sequence. and turn some steps on, but leave some off. Now the pitch is coming out on our module, controlling the oscillator, sending the square back into the computer to be recorded. But it's also sending out gate information from the pitch CV block. So I'm gonna patch this square wave into the VCA. Turn up the VCA. got the gate fire in here on the ES3. Let's send our gate to my envelope module and send the envelope out into the VCA. Now I could mix an oscillator in and actually send audio out of the ES3 as well. So let's patch into the filter. My output to the VCA now coming from this filter. And let's move to a saw wave. I'm just gonna drop this down an octave. Great sound from those AGH modules. Now I'm going to patch in, just so that I'm ready for it. Output free into the second input of the filter. And then go back over to reactor and set up an oscillator to come out, which will mix in the filter and then into the VCA. We're going to hit edit again and go to the library and get a monarch oscillator block. Let's take the pits information from the same sequencer and patch the Monarch VCO output to the third output on my ES3 module. We 
hear the audio right away. And we can adjust the monoc oscillator block. fix sound. Let's add a mixer and another oscillator inside blocks. So we'll hit edit again, take another monoc oscillator, and a mixer, patch the mixer into the third output, go into the ES3 module, and then take the two oscillators, make those track pitch, and then just edit this layout a little bit. down slightly. I'm also going to make this sequence a bit more interesting, so let's hit edit again. Pick out another 8 step sequencer, and I want a clock divider so I can divide down the clock and run one sequence slower than the other. There's the clock divider I was looking for. Let's just stop this for a second. My gate is going into the clock divider. Then gate 1's output on the divider to the first sequencer and gate 2 to the second sequencer. The pitch out from the second sequencer is going into the pitch in to transpose on the first. Let's edit this layout so we can see everything. bottom we have our sequence running and at the top is the transposing sequence. And I want to clock divide the second step and second sequencer eight times slower. So let's add some transposing steps. one sequence transposing the other. And let's head back to the modular and play around with this patch. So over on the modular side, we have our volt proctive signal into our single oscillator, and then output three is sending the two monarch oscillators from blocks into the mixer on the transistor ladder filter from AGH. Again, great sounding filter. So it's a really nice way to expand a single oscillator with audio and CV through the Expert Sleepers ES3 and reactor blocks. I'm coming out of the filter into the VCA and using an envelope in the modular to open up that mix of sounds. Let's take out the other envelope to modulate the filter. That's the pitch CV out block for reactor blocks and expert sleepers ES3 controlling the modular synth voice.